I'm Carl Davis. I'm the head of DEI recruitment here at Mesero. And it's my distinct honor to welcome Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms to today's events. So as we take this moment to recognize Black History Month, we're proud to gather colleagues, clients, and friends of the firm to hear and learn directly from the mayor, a lifelong public servant uh, whose perseverance, commitment, and community and lifelong activism are positively shaping not only Atlanta, but also our nation. So leading through 2020, what would you say were the biggest takeaways from such a very challenging year? <laughs> <laughs> Be prepared for the unexpected. And, um, you know, of all the things that I, I had on my list, and, and, and I, this really was foreshadowed when I came in and there we experienced the biggest cyber attack in the history, municipal history. In all of the forums I had attended in running for mayor, nobody talked about cybersecurity. And in the same way, nobody's ever talked about what what's your preparation for a pandemic? What's your preparation for a, a social justice movement that we've not seen uh, in the last 50 years in America? So it was just being prepared and making sure that financially that we have the resources in place to, to make it through the rough patches. My biggest concern right now is that we've been so inundated with the unexpected and just the heaviness of 2020 that in so many ways, I feel like we're just treading water right now and we've got to get back into the innovation business. How do we ensure that our constitutional rights, you know, remain fair and protected? Stay engaged and advocacy work is so very important. The attention that voting is getting across the country is so important right now because it's something that people don't give a lot of thought to until elections come around. But I think the most important part is that we be educated. And for those of us who are paying attention and are educated, that we educate our communities and our families. So as a mayor of a, of a major American city, uh, and as a woman, uh, you hold a very prominent place as the number of women in leadership positions increases. So as we look ahead to Women's History Month, can you speak to that? There's still so much more work to be done. I am so happy that there are that women are seeking to lead because we're leading anyway. We lead at work, we lead in our house, households, we lead in our churches, our sororities. We're leading anyway, we just don't always call it leadership. But now that we recognize that it's this thing called leadership and there are positions of power that we too are more than qualified to seek in record numbers, I'm encouraged because when you bring women into the fold, you often bring the concerns and sensitivities to issues of our families and, co and communities that are often lost when we're not at the table. Mayor Bottoms, you've been giving us so much to think about. Thank you for your continued commitment to our country and for shedding light on so many vital, important topics. And thank you so much, Mayor Bottoms. We appreciate thank your time. You.